guys, it's your boy Will back here in our video. Today, I am going to be doing a sports video. It is going to be called Breaking Down Every AFC Team. Uh, saying what they have done good and what they have done bad. If they have exceeded expectations or not. So first off, let's get started with the Patriots. Uh, the Patriots exceeded basically everything, but they kind of... I feel like they were more dominant last year than this year. Um, just me. You might guy you guys might have other opinions, but this is just my opinion. Leave your opinions in the comments down below if you want to share something with me. Yeah, um, best team in the AFC. They will be facing off against the Jaguars to determine who is going to represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. And yeah, let's move on to the Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo Bills Thanks to the Bengals' victory, thrilling victory over the Ravens in the last week of the regular season, um, they got into the playoffs for the first time in a long time. <clears throat> but sadly, uh, they they lost. Which, well, good for well, they made the playoffs, so it's all good, homies. It's all good. All right, next up we have the Dolphins. Um, last year they made the playoffs. But this year they kind of slumped. Yeah, I would say they slumped. Again, it might have something to do with Ryan Tannehill being out. And Jay Cutler force, uh, getting forced to play back in the NFL. Um, that might have been some issues. If not, they probably would have had a 7-9 record. But for me, if Ryan Tannehill was still back, they probably wouldn't have made the playoffs. Next team, we have the Jets. Which surprised me in the early parts of the season but then they but then they uh, slumped down um they slumped down in the uh, later half of the season 5 and 11 isn't a bad record for a team that has been not very good constantly over the past few years um i just feel like they did they exceeded some expectations and uh, haven't passed them but in a few years, if they can get some good draft picks and uh, can get that chemistry going, they could actually be a playoff team. Next team, we have the Steelers. 13-3. and three. Um, Well, you could say it was a disappointing loss against the Jags. In a um, high-scoring game, though. And um, Ben Roethlisberger has said he will return to the Steelers this season. So Steelers fans, uh, you still will have maybe a year, two years tops with uh, Big Ben. And besides that, they exceeded every expectation, made it to the playoffs, had some very uh, thrilling victories, almost lost to the Browns, which is bad. And yeah, let's move on to the next team. We in the next team we have the Ravens. Again, they made the playoffs. Or no, no, they didn't. Make, no, they didn't make the playoffs. They had a winning record, which is good. But there's really nothing I can say other than that because I don't really watch the Ravens. Who pays attention to the Ravens? Comment down below if you pay attention to the Ravens. I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but well, they had a winning record. If you have a over 500 record, that's decent, but didn't make the playoffs because of the Bengals, who are, uh, I'm talking about now, had a thrilling victory, like I said when I was breaking down the Bills, they had a thrilling victory over the Ravens, which, um, Andy Dalton threw a pass to a wide receiver, I... I feel like it was AJ, I don't, I don't know who it was, but I know it was good. Um, I watched it live, it was an amazing throw, and um, the Bills fans were extremely happy. Um, the Bagels won, Bagels, Bengals won. Still didn't make the playoffs, though. Uh, John Ross, if he could have uh, had more action, I would see them standing at a 500 record, 8-8. Eight and eight. But that's top. I don't think they would have gotten a winning record. But, I mean, John Ross, he is a rookie, so he has time to um, evolve into a better player. Alright, next we have the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. 
surprise team. I remember about a, a year ago they were saying that the Raiders were the surprise team, the Jags were trash. No, no, they weren't trash, but yeah, they were trash. But now they surprise me. Their defense has been outstanding this year. And I honestly hope they uh, make it to the Super Bowl and win it, actually. I will make a video on breaking down every NFC team. I just had to make a video because I haven't posted it in a while. So, yeah, 10 and 6 record. Amazing defense. That's really all I can say. They exceeded every expectation of my book. Next, we have the uh, Tennessee Titans. Um, made the playoffs, had a very, very good victory against the Kansas City Chiefs. And you guys know I'm a Raiders fan, so I really don't like the Chiefs. And I was in a bar watching that. Don't ask. And I was so happy when they won. Everybody around me was like, Ugh. Yeah, so they made the playoffs, uh, lost to the Jaguars, I'm pretty sure. I don't, I don't know. They lost to a playoff team. And, well, they made the playoffs for the second year in a row, I'm pretty sure. Marcus Mariota and uh, Derrick Henry actually surprised my game. So, 9-7 record. If you have a uh, winning record, then you basically exceed more than ex more expectations uh, than else. Next, we have the uh, Indianapolis Colts. I don't know where they've been. Um, again, like I said, with the Dolphins, it might have something to do with uh, Andrew Luck being gone almost the whole season. But I feel like they could have done better. They have a decent deep. No, they don't really have a good defense. But they've got T.Y. Hilton and Frank Gore. No, never mind. And they had a... Uh, they had a... I feel like they should have at least got a 6-10 and 10 record, like the Dolphins. I don't know where uh, they've been. They've just probably gotten unlucky, but they will probably this year get a better draft spot. Will allow them to get a younger, talented player, which may help their franchise uh, get into the playoffs. Next team we have is the Texans. Um, last year, a wild card spot... Pretty good, one against the Raiders, which I didn't like. Um, yeah, four and twelve record, same as the Colts. Um, I don't know where they've been either. Again, like I said, it might have done something to do. They were amazing the uh, earlier part of the season because they had Deshaun Watson. But then once he tore his ACL, things started to go downhill. And um, that's really all I can say about the Texans. The next team we have, which is the la uh, the, we have four more. Uh, next team is the Chiefs, who went ten and six. Honestly, okay, again they were good in the first half of the season, and then they kind of slumped down. They started out the season five and zero, I'm pretty sure, and ended the season uh, five and six. Which isn't very good, but they still managed to get a playoff spot, a wild card spot, and lost the Titans. And um, pretty sure next year Patrick Mahomes will be probably the starting quarterback. Alex Smith. Alex Smith, he did actually really good this season, but again, slumped in the last parts of the season. Next team we have is the. Los Angeles Chargers, who were, honestly, in my book, the second, after the Jaguars, uh, the second surprise team this year. The Chargers, the Chargers went 9-7, and seven, second, the a second in the AFC, beating out the Raiders and the Broncos. Uh, they couldn't manage to get a playoff spot. Which, I would have actually been happy for uh, Los Angeles fans for them to get a playoff spot. Because I know they've been in a slump these past years. Not very good. But they they have, um... I just... I just really can't say anything. Because the Chargers are surprised. Uh, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. 
Next team we have is the Raiders, my favorite team. I I was disappointing with their performance. I know, like basically every Oakland fan is. After their game against the shoot, who was their last game against? Not sure. <laughs> but after their game, the last game, the uh. Uh, former Raiders coach Jack Del Rio uh, got fired by uh, their coach uh, Mark Davis, their uh, owner, and then uh, they were expected to bring in John Gruden, who was with the Raiders for four years and led them to four consecutive 500 or better seasons, which then they signed him to a 10-year, $100 million contract, which is high for a coach. Which I feel like they're not going to have enough money to sign other players in the offseason and in the NFL draft. But hopefully they will be better uh, next year. And hopefully get a playoff slot and maybe um, move up in the playoffs and the power rankings. And our last team I have for you guys tonight is the Broncos. Who went 5-11. and 11. <clears throat> Again, like the Raiders, disappointed. I feel like they c should have done done better. They had two uh, pretty good wide receivers, two good cornerbacks, a really good defense, a ish shaky offense. But they should have at least been like seven and nine. I don't know what happened to them. I'm just not sure. It could have been. It could have been. Uh, Alright, guys, that is all I have you guys for today. We'll be making a video breaking down every NFC team that will be coming soon. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.